Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton. We're back here with another review today. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of Slim Wallets. We've done several reviews of these in the past, and once you go to a Slim Wallet design, you will never go back to carrying around a bunch of stuff in your pocket that you don't really need. So a while back, Akini reached out and see if I wanted to try out their Exto. So let's take a look. So the Akini Exto is a stackable design that is available in several different sizes, ranging from a four card version all the way up to a 10 card. I opted for the six card version for the purposes of this review. The wallet can also hold eight builds and five business cards and other sections of the wallet. The frame is a powder coated aluminum cage that can come in several different colors. Now I'm one of those guys that you can have any color you want as long as it's black. So I opted for this kind of matte black look that I really like. The cards slide into the cage and there's a metal spring that actually applies pressure to the back of the cards and keeps them secure within the wallet itself. On the outside of the wallet, there's actually an additional pocket that you can put your business cards and your ID in for quick access. If you wanna carry cash or receipts, you conveniently slide them behind the cards in the spring area, and that allows you to carry those kind of items as well on the inside of the wallet. Akini also offers some accessories that you can personalize the wallet yourself. As you can see with the one that I have right here, I have a black plastic card on the outside to actually hide my credit card numbers, a carbon fiber slide that goes where my ID and business cards are so you don't see those visually as well, and I even opted for a spring that had a texture to it that's just a cool look not any more function but it actually looks kind of cool inside the wallet so this specific wallet retails for $64 and I spent an additional $13 on the accessories to finish the wallet out so after several months with the Exto what did I actually think about using the wallet in real world situations first the design of the wallet for a metal wallet you don't get any sharp edges they did a great job of putting radiuses around every part of the wallet that would have a sharp edge so you don't run into situations where you might scratch things in your pockets like I used to run into with the Ridge wallet it. They did a great job of actually smoothing over these edges and making it so you didn't have any sharp edges on the wallet at all. The powder coat finish on the wallet is also excellent. After months and months of use, it shows basically zero wear at all. It looks exactly like it did when I brought it out of the package for the first time. The branding on this wallet is actually really subdued as well, which I really like. There's only one little logo that's kind of embossed on the outside of the cage. Some of these slim wallets really put their logos out there in your face, and I'm not a real big fan of that with wallets. I like it to look really clean and simple in the design. So the actual function of the wallet on holding the cards actually works out really well. Whether you're carrying two cards or six cards in this six card frame, the spring does a great job of keeping those cards pressed up against the mechanism within the wallet so they don't move or fall out while in use. And I have to admit, the actual snap-in portion for the cards themselves is a little bit too satisfying. You find yourself doing it a lot just because it, that click and just, yeah, it just feels good. So I find myself playing with the wallet sometimes if I'm just holding it in my hand, pushing the cards in and out just because it's just something to mess with. So the ID and business card slot works out really well. That way you don't have to go in and dig in to find your ID with, like you do with some other slim wallets on these stackable designs. Having that extra compartment out on the outside to be able to do business cards and your ID is really convenient and I like that overall design and function. And of course, I don't normally carry cash, but the ability to just shove my receipts and cash behind the cards themselves, there's plenty of room back there for normal use. And it is really easy for me when I'm out on the road and I have to collect all my receipts to have them back there in a safe place until I get back to the hotel or at home. So it is nice to have accessories for the wallet as well. As you can see with this one, it's nice to have that black card on the outside to actually you know, keep your credit card numbers and everything out of visible sight. And the carbon fiber looks pretty cool on the back as well. Even though you don't have a lot of your ID exposed to the outside where people could see, it is still nice to have that extra protection to cover it up and have it so it actually stylizes the wallet a little bit at the same time. So what are some of the drawbacks of using the Exto wallet? One, and you do have to get used to using this wallet and getting your cards out. They make a YouTube video that kind of helps you get through that process. But even after months of use, if you have a lot of cards that look really similar, it's hard to find them in the wallet and you end up sometimes taking a lot of cards out and putting them back in. Now, I think that's just part of the process and the design of any of the stackable card wallets, but you do need to know that getting into it. If you have a lot of cards that look really similar, you might find yourself kind of fumbling for your cards when you're actually looking for them at the checkout counter. And the second thing, and I noticed this after prolonged use of the wallet, if you're sliding your cards in and out a lot, you will start to see wear on the edges of the card itself. Now that's not a real big deal breaker. You could just order a new card if it's really that annoying to you, but it is something to note when you're using a metal wallet with plastic cards and you're sliding them in and out a lot. Now with my metal cards, you don't notice that at all, but that's for obvious reasons, they're metal cards. So just keep that in mind. When it comes to plastic cards, you might see some wear on the edges after frequent use. So my overall thoughts on the Akini Exo. As far as stackable designs go, I think this is probably my favorite out of any of the wallets I've tried. I really 
really like how the radius edges on this wallet do not have any sharp edges and it's really easy to get the cards in and out. Having that extra compartment for your ID and business cards is also key if you're using those a lot in your daily use. This wallet also doesn't have any straps or money clips that you have to worry about. It just functions all within this one frame, which makes for a very clean look and a very flat and smooth design. So guys, I wanna hear what you think. Are you using a slim wallet now? Which one is your favorite? Have you actually used the Sakini Exto? What is your experience with it? I want you to hit up the comment section down below and let me know. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to Rob Sutton for more reviews like this in the future. And until then, on to the next one. Thanks guys, see you.